So I want to take a moment to just talk about the seated position in relationship to back pain. So if you look at the seat panel and you think of a concept called joint centration, which basically means the joints in a position to best bear load. So if we look at the wrist, I can put more weight in my wrist this way without ramifications compared to if the wrist is in this position, most of my tissues are going to get sensitive there. Same applies to the lower back with relation to sitting. So if your seat panel is angled up just a little bit or even flat, the ball wants to roll in this situation down that way. The pelvis in this analogy is the ball. And if you relax, the pelvis is going to want to roll this way, which puts a lot of stress in the back structures, just like it did with the wrist. Versus if we angle the seat panel just down slightly towards your feet, well now the ball wants to roll in that direction, so we're placing a little bit more of the load into your feet. The pelvis just naturally wants to go this way by virtue of position. We're putting your lower back in a more centrated position to bear load, and now the entire structure is taking on that load, right? So if we look at relaxing here compared to if I wanted to relax here, it's a completely different animal. So taking a regular seat and throwing some pillows underneath your butt or even getting a product like this that has a little bit of an inclination to it that's robust can help bring your hips up above your knees, which we can help centrate your lower back. If you have flexion sensitive back pain and sitting is particularly painful for you, this can be a huge game changer in your recovery process. So please consider the way you're sitting in chairs if you have to sit in chairs for your job.